Hiya, uh, my name's Simon Dyer uh, and I'm here playing with um, one of my favourite toys. I have so many barbecues but this is my all-time new favourite. Uh, there's something primeval about it. It takes you back to just cooking straight off of a hole in the ground. Um, it's an asado setup, um, the, the gaucho form of cooking. Uh, we're cooking low and slow um, and using the, the heat from the, the logs here. Uh, this setup was made for me uh, by a gentleman called Tom Bray. Uh, you can contact him on Twitter at Barbecue Diaries. Um, himself and Martin Anderson, I think, have taught me more about the art of asado uh, than anyone else. Um, they are some supremely talented people. Um, so what we're doing today is um, some pork ribs. Um, we've got the fire lit. Uh, I've, uh, even though I bought part of this setup, I can't resist doing the wobbling bit. Um, my fire basket is made out of an upcycled um, magazine rack. Uh, my uh, chopper plate here is a recycled plate um, out of an old barbecue or an oven, I think this one was. Um, two heat blocks um, and as we can see a fire underneath. This is heating um, a Herbie Brine um, in Spanish it's called Salmuera. Um, it's a mixture of water, salt, garlic, uh, rosemary, thyme. But I wanted to go with a bit of a West Country influence on these ribs, seeing there's some nice pork ribs. So I have added some cider that was made um, in the village local to me. Uh, I've also added some homegrown sage, pork and sage go together fantastically and just to pepper up a little bit because I like heat I've also added uh, a Jamaican red or a Scotch bonnet chilli. Um, this is heated up and uh, the reason it's heated is I don't want to cool down the meat as it's cooking so I'm putting the hot brine over the meat and that is not stopping the cooking process. The reason I like this style of cooking so much, uh, your temperature control is not playing with dials, shutting down valves, uh, blanking off exhaust. Uh, the heat control is literally, the meat is there. I can either move the meat back a notch or I can move the fire back a notch. I'm keeping the fire um, quite enclosed. The wind's a bit um, temperamental today, it's swirling. But what I want to do, uh, and this is um, what I've been told, is if I can hold my hand there for eight to 10 seconds, I've got about the perfect fire. So I'm just grading my hand up now, using that to feel the temperature. And I've got almost constant temperature all the way through. Uh, the ribs on one side are slightly thicker than the ribs on this side, so I've set them different ways up. Um, I'm going to cook it, and the idea of this cooking is, if you can see the bones here, the bones are starting to pull back. This form of cooking, actually with whole animals, like a, um, a whole lamb, um, a pig, a goat, maybe even a, a whole deer, can be strung out on here or um, flanks of beef uh, all bone in but the principle is that the heat is warming through the bones the bones hold that heat there and actually radiate it back out through the meat so pork ribs that are a very fatty cut of meat we're actually getting all the heat here the bones are protecting the meat from behind but also the bones are heating up themselves and also aiding the cooking process. Uh, in one way they're keeping the cooking process going by heating the meat through but also they're protecting the meat from actually burning. I'm only going to turn this round um, for the last 20-30 minutes 
just to crisp up um, the meat side. So as we see again, we're cooking bone side towards the fire. Altered, if I wanted the fire to be hotter, I just drop the meat towards the fire. If I want the meat to be cooler, and I think this is the maximum that it goes. And feeling like that, that is too far away. I had it just about in the right place earlier on. If you don't want to faff about moving the meat, you can just start moving the fire basket. A lot of people don't use fire baskets, they'll just burn the coals straight on the ground um, or on the tray as it is here. Unlike um, smoking where you put lots of rubs on, I mean you can do, there's nothing to stop you putting a rub on and cooking this way. But uh, I just like this way of imparting flavour to the meat. Besides that, it looks bloody cool, doesn't it? Yeah.